In this room, I have generations of friends and colleagues, and I'm so grateful to all of you over the decades of serving this population. But both people with the disease and their family care partners, we all have our whys for being here this evening. Let me introduce one of my why, Michael Pollock, who represents the thousands of persons with dementia. Let me introduce why funds we raise this evening are changing lives and yet motivating all of us to do more. This evening, we want you to walk away feeling inspired, hopeful, connected, and feeling, and I think we will accomplish that with our program. Michael? Thank you, Eleanor, for introducing and giving me the opportunity to be up here tonight. I stand before all of you as someone who's been afflicted by Alzheimer's for years before I was diagnosed. I say afflicted because I now have symptoms and this illness has begun to change who I am. <clears throat> with me tonight, my beautiful wife Barbara, along with my two daughters, Lucy and Ava. They have been affected by this disease, along with our extended family and friends, as well as the people who I work with at my company and everyone we work with around the world as part of my business. <clears throat> that is the impact of this disease. It has on it. my uh, speech here. That's the impact of this disease that it has on everyone. All of us are challenged by it, be it Alzheimer's or any of the other forms of dementia. I tell you, if you are afflicted or affected, there's a place that you can turn to when you need help or know someone who does. That is caring kind. Of course, I've lived, in, I've lived 73 years, more than 50 years in New York City, and I thought I knew everyone in every cool place, restaurant, gallery, galleries, and clubs. Trust me, there's no cooler place than caring kind at this stage in my life. Cognitive Stimulation Therapy Group, performing as part of the To Whom I May Concern program. I get to exchange stories with others who I describe as part of the forest of Alzheimer's. Each of us, like a tree that's been affected, each of us fighting to stay rooted to those around us. This is an isolating illness. Being connected to others makes all of us stronger. It's the hidden beauty. Of course, we all struggle to fight against our demonition. I believe in my lifetime, there will be a cure for this illness. I'm currently being infused every other week to help remove my amyloid plaque. I'm blessed to have no beta protein. This medicine, however, is not restorative. However, it does give us a fighting chance. The support that Caring Kind gives us is extraordinary. They ask for nothing in return. So I'm asking all of you to give whatever you can to support them so they can continue to always say yes when someone steps off that elevator for the very first time. I'll be walking this October in the New York City Marathon, representing Karen Klein. Proudly wearing my orange hat, trying to keep up with Alan Patrickoff. <laughs> A 
as I do wear this hat every time I step out of my house. They have been both supporting to me and so many others, both afflicted and affected. So I ask all of you, support Caring Kind for all of us. Thank you very much. <laughs>